What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Ba, 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 yeah! Felt, Do you need some more? Yeah. I feel like you felt some pressure to add to what you had done. I just, I op- I was in the zone. I opened my eyes and I, I saw you also in the zone, but then your hand went up. I like, kind of called for it. Your, your, your body needed more. I don't think I needed more. I got more. That's for sure. Welcome into That's the my dollars. philosophy on life. <laughs> you might not have needed it, but I'm giving it. <laughs> I liked it. It was kind of a, a, a volume crescendoing. Well, I went. Um, I went up. Yeah, the music goes down. Right, and we intersected in the middle, and now there'll be a baby it, somewhere. It's my turn next week <laughs> to do the scat. Yeah, because you know, if if you're not aware, uh, Spitwads, we 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 basically cycle every week. Whoever's got the first pick in the draft is responsible for the opening scat, and so next week, um, I will scat. And I I'm telling you right now, I'm thoroughly disappointed in my scatter. I don't like it. I don't like being the scatter. I don't enjoy listening to my scatter, which, which means... Are you going to work on it? Next week, I'm bringing something new. I'm bringing something different. And I'm oh, not... Very I, and nice. I am not saying it's going to be good. Okay? I just want that it's out. It's going to be I'm great. Not, I'm not, I, don't put that on me, man. <laughs> What's funny is... I'm a little worried about where this can end up. Yeah. No, I, I believe in Jason. I hey, believe in Jay Moore. Thank you. Uh, we, we had to release a couple classic episodes, as the Spitwads know, because of you know, people being out of town. The the the, the plague, Bubonic plague. The, bl- the plague hit most of the fantasy footballers and their households. And the, we didn't always used to scat. That's true. And what I heard from the most were people like, you know, we, we, enjoyed, Where was the scat? we enjoyed the classic episodes, but you guys need to like overdub some scatting on there. Oh, maybe that's what I'll do next week. Maybe next week my fire take will just be the intro no scat. Wait and wait and see. Check back next week. He's gonna try something new, which is being quiet. Mm. Nifty. I don't know that I can do that. All right, welcome in. Would you rather? That's a great question. A great draft on the show today. Follow us on. Well, let's let's go with Twitter at Spitballers Pod. Jason is at Jason FFL. Mike is at FF Hitman. Yep. I, I'm at Andy Holloway. We're all also on Instagram. You can follow those handles at Instagram. And if you want, uh, I've got a super important post coming up real soon. Also, Apple Podcasts. We appreciate your reviews, your support over there. In fact, we even read them. Review Asaurus Rex. This one comes in from Joey Roll. Potential (laughs) medical hazard. Five stars. What? I actually read this one. I know what this is going to say. Well, I, I don't even bother. I already know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> These three buffoons, as advertised, are ridiculously funny, perhaps too funny, mm. as they will make you laugh at any moment, such as when I'm doing a bench press or running on a treadmill or using power tools. Listen at your own risk of sounding like the Joker and laughing randomly at any moment. Also, Jason Moore, 2020, the president America doesn't need but wants. Well, of course you want me for president. I have two reactions to this. Uh, number one, I feel like Joey Roll, well, thank you so much for the review, was just weirdly flexing on himself. Right, dude. He's big He's, press. I, I bet you run. I use power tools. I'm, I'm a man. Watch out, ca- watch out if you're listening to this while running a marathon. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes in like the 26th mile, I'm like, <laughs> They really made fun of me in boot camp. I like the idea of somebody going from all of their workouts to just straight to power tools for no reason. Just like, <laughs> you know, they keep them in the car. In between workouts, I use the power tools. You never See, know. He was re- trying to get Borland's attention. Oh, oh I see. there it is. And, he, and it worked. Good, yeah. good job, Joey Roll. The second note was the perhaps too funny. Just uh, please tell my wife. Mm, that's good. The potential medical hazard is really one we didn't consider due to a lack of bench pressing. When I'm doing open heart surgery on a patient, <laughs> sometimes I'm listening to this podcast. I'm like, whoops, ha I had to break out the who's gal. Sometimes if- when I'm flying my jet and I'm like, oh, no, I lost control of the wheel because it's so funny. 
It's also the yoke, Jason. It's not if, the wheel. If you <laughs> that, oh, yeah, that's have <laughs> listened to this show while doing heart surgery, let us know. called a yoke? Yeah. You didn't know that? No, I had I I would have thought it was called the joystick or something. I mean, I'm thinking like if I do a flight simulator, I got a little joystick in my hand. That's, yes, that's, that's true because that's a flight simulator. Airplane Parts? wheel. <laughs> Take the Google, yoke. When you say airplane wheel, it comes up with landing gear, which <laughs> makes sense because airplanes do in fact have a wheel, several. So what you but those are the wheels you're grabbing because you're so butch. Right. Just, I'm a man. When I'm flying under the plane holding onto those <laughs> wheels, I don't want to laugh. Don't listen to this podcast. We do get a lot of people dropping objects on themselves or laughing while they're driving. You're welcome. So, whenever my chauffeur hears me laughing, he sometimes veers off the oh, road. Oh, now he's a rich guy. He asks, What's so funny back there? <laughs> and I say, Roll up the window. Mind your business, Jeeves. <laughs> well, I'm choking on my caviar, <laughs> laughing. How, what happened to I don't Joey know why Rowe? he's rich. Sometimes when I'm at the jewelry store, I'm like, have you heard this one? Would you rather? I, I could have gone way longer. Joey's, I could have beat that look, dead horse. That he's was, just trying to support the show. No, that's a projection by us on people that use their bodies to exercise. That's all that is. That's, That's us saying we turned him into some sort of evil rich man. I love it because for all, working out. All he did was work out and like use tools. He's just a regular dude He's and we're dude. not. So we're like, oh, well, aren't you fancy fixing <laughs> things and working out? Try sitting down, talking into a microphone. I wish I was so rich that I could run outside <laughs> with my legs. Mm. All right, Robert from Patreon. <laughs> Has a would you rather question, believe it or not. Would you rather have an hour in each day where the calories you eat don't count? So oh. one hour. This is like oh my. It's like the Purge movie, right? Where you've got the one day a year you can do whatever you sort want. Sort of, but instead of cold-blooded a- murder, you're just eating <laughs> cheeseburgers. <laughs> right, exactly the same. Murdering yourself. <clears throat> sure. But you're not. So wait, would you rather have an hour each day uh, where the calories you eat don't count? Okay. Or all of the exercise burns double the calories that it does right now. So you could have a window where okay. you burn double calories. Okay. I'm definitely taking the cheat hour. <laughs> I think I am too, man. I could get all of my indulgence into that hour, no doubt about it. In fact... Is it ev- every day? Every day you get an hour, Mike. Okay, this is just too easy. I'm reframing this question from Robert. Would you rather have one hour a week? No, 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 no. Hold on. I want to reframe it differently first because I want to keep it as much as the same but your hour is like one to two in the morning it's just i'll still take it I just, you still would get yes. it looks like yes, i'm staying I up will. late yeah. i mean i'm staying up late every night if that's if if at one to two in the morning i can eat anything i want you know what's Postmates. open do you know what is open at one to two in the morning exactly. the food that you can't eat it doesn't make you not the late, have di- late night menu the, the taco bells you're the still, jack the box you're still the, gonna have diarrhea uh there's things you deal with <laughs> I mean, if it said, hey, you so can eat now anything. now you're saying once a week? That's not good enough. I'm just saying to make it because we're all taking the food. That's true. I, th- this isn't the issue with the question. The issue with the question is not how do we make this worse. It's how do we make the other side better. Or all your exercise burns double calories. We don't exercise that much. We just established that. Let's, that's, that's because like what's double of burning five calories. Exactly. But Whoa. that's the problem. I only burn single calories. If I could burn double calories, perhaps... You would not work out. So If you burned quadruple the calories, you would not work out. You want to know why? Because working out sucks. It's not because... I don't finish my workout and go, you know what? That was only like 450 (laughs) calories I burned. If only I burned 900. I don't know what I burn in the first place. What happens is after the workout... (laughs) Yes. After the workout, I go, you know what? That sucked. <laughs> I did not enjoy this. So there, there was a time in my life where I was. This was my peak fitness. So this is a decade ago. Oh. This is forever ago. Okay. But I was like six days a week. I worked out for an hour every <laughs> single day. I mean, I was in incredible shape. And then Sunday was my cheat day. But my cheat day was unbelievable. I it would start because we, my wife and I, would play church in the morning. 
and Sonic. Okay, that sounds, <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta dive in on that a little bit because like, like playing, we played church, like you play tea oh, party. We play church in the mornings. Look, we, in the biz, when you're you a be the preacher, when you're a musician, you just say we play this. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, that's why I'm we. Sorry are, that you don't have talent. It just it sounds ridiculous. We play church. We we play like we, we were trying to help you, got, Mike, and I, you've once again turned it on us. This is my, All right, so my you're, philosophy. You're, okay. you're, uh, so we have to we have to be at church early in the morning because we're gonna play music. Sure, you're leading worship. Sonic, the, they offer breakfast in the morning, mm -hmm. but they also offered lunch mm -hmm. at like six thirty in the morning. My day would start with a double cheeseburger, double bacon cheeseburger, a large fry, a l extra large Coke, and a side of mozzarella sticks. That's how my day would start. <laughs> And so, what was the verdict? You had this. I ate something bad every week, and I worked out all the time. Oh, it was it was great, but I was also young. Yeah, it's the age. It's, it has nothing it, to do with our workout. Fine. I feel like if I worked out an hour a day every day, I'd be fat. I had this conversation <laughs> with a fellow mid thirties man the other day, and we just said that you transitioned from getting into shape into stopping a decline into just obesity. <laughs> yeah. You're slowing down a bad thing instead of improving a good thing. You can't ever get better. It's just like, it, I don't want to be worse. It's just how how much time can it take for me to be wheeled around? Well, like What sucks now is instead of the, the, the positive thing that comes out of the workout, it's like six-pack washboard abs. And now it's just, I, well, I don't have a heart attack for the next 10 years. Now it's my <laughs> pants don't hurt when they're buttoned <laughs> right. and i was like i can wear pants the benefit is just not worth it and you know i don't feel like i'm about to bleed from my waist <laughs> belly button i say like you your know. waist wait hold well, on like hold belly. on hold on your waist belly is there more than one no but my i'm saying like my waistline underneath my belly button i don't know what that's called what's the you, center you, front of your waistline called your mid midsection well, that's a whole area. I'm talking right where that button is. What is the what is the anatomical name? <laughs> I don't your, think I don't think it's that's a gooch. very different spot. Oh. I definitely don't think it's that, Andy. No, uh, no. Your uh, Goomba. You, sure, Goomba, Goomba is better. But what is your Kerplunker? Is there an anatomical name, Spitwads? If, if if you're out there, you're listening, and you're a doctor. Clearly, you are. I mean, you're all fancy and rich. Um, and exercising. By the way, if you're not, please, you're not allowed to listen to this. This is only for rich people. That's right. That's how people find this. They go, well, I've come into a lot of money now. What is the podcast you listen to, Jeeves? Um, but, but my point is, I don't know. Podcasting for the rich. I don't know. We should change our name to yeah. that. I don't know what the name of the body part right behind the button on your pants is called, but that so is what hurts on me a lot. So you're talking this is below the belly button. Right. Do you I can stand up. I can there's, show you this. No, I mean there's an area. <laughs> there's an area it's called the fupa. Is that for real? Yeah. The, Did you google this? No, I know about it's it. It's not the gooch. We're not going to But <laughs> Did you google? The, no, but I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, kid kids don't google these All things. Right. <laughs> All right. So, did the you fupa. say fupa? Yeah. We're talking about the <laughs> spare <t> <laughs> Oh goodness! My at home. I'm so sorry. Oh goodness! Oh kidoki! <laughs> oh yes! Am um, I, but am I right? Uh, you're right. That's uh, that is correct. It is the fupa. Thank you, Mike, for being a rich uh, listener. Oh, which spit one are you wide. taking? Um, I'm gonna take the. I will eat whatever <laughs> I want. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it at length uh, for one hour every day. And um, you can take your exercise and calories <laughs> back. Uh, what about you, Andy? What are you taking? I'll take the I'll take the hour of, <laughs> of uh, hour of food. Okay, good. Uh, um, uh, Borland, it's good to know that turn, I didn't make the biggest mistake on the show today. Can you turn the air down in this room? Got I'm it. starting to sweat. <sighs> All right, moving on. I was gonna give you a sh uh, and apparently I'm giving you a shout out now. Al Borland, um, you, I have seen pictures of you in your youth, and you were shredded. You looked like, like, a, like a muscle and fitness magazine supermodel, other than the face. And, but your body, was, <laughs> <laughs> your body was shredded. What was that for? What was that shot for? 
You could have just called him a fitness model. Yeah. What was wrong well, with his face? Well, fitness models still have good faces, Mike. Uh, Wait, uh, what are anyways, you saying about just, his face? I wanted to give him a positive shout out. You're you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Wow. That, that felt really positive, especially uh, all the past tense associated with it. Oh, yeah, sorry. But th- hey, I would hold on to that forever if that was me. Like, there's no period in time where I was just jacked. Because it wasn't like thin and muscles show through. You were yeah, like swole s- and jacked. Yeah. To speak to your point earlier, though, you've been working out. An hour <laughs> for like a year and a half. Yes, exactly. And uh, what's what? I th- mean, no, no offense. No, no like, offense. I'm still fat. <laughs> no. Like, what? I've what been, could it do? So, so I have been working out for uh, two to three days. I'm supposed to go three days a week, uh, but you know, let's be honest. It's usually probably two and a half a on average for a year and a half now. I've been consistently going. And I will say this. Here's what's changed. I mean, you're much stronger. I am much stronger. I I can lift things easier. <laughs> Peanut my, butter jars. My not arms. A problem. My arms. I feel like I have muscles. Like I remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember six months in leaning against my 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 car window or whatever while I was driving. <laughs> and well, not like lean, but like my arm was up against the <laughs> what the car window. Okay. Just, He's just, gonna talk about some droop. And I, no, no, it oh. wasn't droop. It was like, oh, what's that in between my arm and the door? Like there was something uncomfortable. I was it was like, a oh, tricep. That, it was a muscle. So that was cool, but I'm still fat, and that's that's upsetting. But because you're I'm just staving off. I mean, you're more staving. Yeah, yeah. And, and opening I, jars. I think part of the problem, and I know my trainer would agree with this, is that over the last year and a half, I've eaten like, like I am a city dumpster. I've eaten like, <laughs> put whatever you want in me. You don't need to no. sort this. Oh, no. You don't need to... You, you know, I'll take your recycle. I'll take your garbage. I'll take your leftover. Just you, I'm a you city dumpster. You think your trainer will agree with you on yeah, that? One. I think that's part of my weight issue. But you, you <laughs> fell into the trap of you thought this hour existed every day for just, the last year. Just because it's you're called dinner, you're in your mid thirties. You have to watch what you eat, no matter what. Yes. Oh goodness! Actually, the the moment for me was when I got blood work done in my mid thirties, and then he's like. Like it mattered, Surgery. right? Was like, he's like you you're have, almost a diabetic. He's like you have like you're like you have cholesterol issues, and sir, I'm like no, you, no 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 no. I'm twelve. Uh, no sir, you're thirty five. Do you drink butter? <laughs> well, yes. No, actually. I eat. Uh, I eat. Sir, how dare you? I I eat butter. Tortilla chips for my healthy snack. <laughs> Here's the crazy thing: is like so I'm I'm out of shape. We all know this. No, you're not. You're, you're actually not really in very good out, shape. You're in you're in the best shape, shape of the three of us. Yeah. Well, I've got a big fat belly. Can we agree with that? <laughs> You're a, a sturdy fellow. I'm a sturdy. F- You're but, sturdy. But my blood work comes back, and it's always like yeah, healthy as a horse. And I right. eat like trash, and I'm overweight, and but my blood work is fine. So I'm what like, do I really this need this episode to become? I don't know, but a it's cl- a classic. Very funny. <laughs> Wait for oh. this one to come back next time. We're oh man, I can we're finally sick. see through my tears, Kyle. Wants to know something. He sent us a question on the website. Hey, Kyle. Would What's you up? rather put on wet socks? What? And brand new underwear every day or brand new socks and wet underwear every what? day? Oh, this isn't. That's not a question. That's not. Some people isn't. have a real problem with wet feet, though, which is I why this question. Wet socks is So out. you would take wet out. underwear. You, 100%. There you go, Jay. What? Wet socks is out. Wet socks. No, 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 no. Hold on. I don't think you understand. Let me read the question. Okay, let me hear. Would you rather put on wet socks, which is out? Like, you don't want that, and you get a right. new underwear every day. Yeah, it's out. Okay. Or would you like to put on soggy, mm. wet underwear and have your groinal region be what is uh, sopping wet and, and have dry feet? But after the what has just uh, commenced on this show with that laughter... The underpants are kind of wet, so you're you're just saying they're, you're used to it. Yeah, but the dry the dry I I will take. Uh, so here's here's wet feet is out. That's foot rot, man. Well, what the other one is crotch rot. Right. No, no, it, it's no because they will dry. But your socks, wet socks, will not dry ever. That's actually probably Why true. Why is that true? Because I think it is because of the shoe. You don't wear a shoe on your crotch. <laughs> I wear I wear <laughs> short <laughs> crotch shoe. God bless you. Um, I don't wear, like, I still have pants on. And so how does that, 
So you're telling me if my shoes were made it's of the mate- jeans? It's part of it's the material, right? Like socks are generally. If my shoes were made of jeans, my socks would dry. <laughs> if my shoulder- yes, okay, denim fall- socks. <laughs> No, no, no. He's saying if his shoes were made of jeans, oh. his socks would dry. <laughs> like I put little. I get the train of thought. Your socks are made of genuinely like like a thicker material. You want it to be cozy, comfy cotton. Your a lot of times underwear is made of a very thin material That's that dries it out. That- it's not because you're wearing denim. <laughs> That makes sense. No, that see, that's the answer I was genuinely yeah, looking for. I think I that to, must be why. Because I I know experientially that you're right. Your underwear and will water dry. goes down, so like you're dripping out of your of your underwear, but into I, your I, shoe. I feel like you are a freaking scientist over there. You are answering these <laughs> questions so well in in discovering like the 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 mystery behind why socks don't dry but underwear do when yeah. whilst wearing what does it change did all that science make you want a wet crotch oh, give me the wet crotch i'm, I'm on, oh, board, so you're on board you convinced me because one of those is going to dry and one of those won't and what i have a bad way to start your day every day knowing there's about a three four hour period of time at least but it's three it's not all day and we look over at Jason. Is you dry yet? No, I'm still wet down I, there. I hate wet clothes. I hate it. Like some people don't like it. Some people are fine with it. I hate wet clothing. I can't. I assume have you a, never swim with no, a shirt on. No. Look, I am one. If you go to a water park and you go, that guy should wear a shirt. That's <laughs> I'm okay with that. No, maybe the maybe. But I'm just saying, like I'm not one of those. It's like, oh, I'm excited to get my shirt off and rock. My body, you know what I mean. Like I'm not that, and sure. The, but I will never go swimming with a shirt on because it doesn't feel good. I can't. I, I'm with you. I can't swim with a shirt. When on. I see other people with wet I can't shirts, swim with pants on. I f- feel gross. Yeah, you you did. We went to the uh, the water park. Yeah, the water park, and I had a, a wet shirt on, and you, you grossed me. Out. Oh, I, it grossed you out. Yeah. Well, I mean, like depending it's good on the shirt, sun- it's good for sun protection. It's good for sun protection and saying, I don't want you to see anything on my body except for my nipples. Because <laughs> these are showing through this wet shirt. I think I wore a white one, too. You did. It was a white All right. shirt. All right. I guess you guys convinced me that, that at the end of the day, I'll have dry underwear and socks if I choose the wet underwear. So we all chose wet underwear by process of incredible well, scientific analysis. I am I am scarred by my modern American history class where we, we studied in-depth Vietnam. And it was oh, like, like the most important thing. That's oh, yeah. that's hyperbolic, but one of the most important things to those soldiers: dry socks. Hundred percent. Because otherwise, because there's water everywhere. Otherwise, you, you, get, just, you uh, end up with rotten feet. Yeah. What is that called? Foot rot. Is it really? <laughs> no, I thought there's like <laughs> I don't is know. It gang. Do they get gang green from that? Or yeah, I, you can. Yeah. Get scurvy. <laughs> no, no, no. You can get gang green. Okay. That might Every, be. It. Everybody knows what that is. I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> when there's there's a lot of people All right. green. Last would you rather? Would you rather start every statement with oh. hey idiot <laughs> <laughs> or end every statement with just kidding? Uh, oh man. Trench foot. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, yeah, there you go. Trench there you go. foot is That's the, the he lives up in the Canadian <laughs> mountains, right? Yes. Old trench foot. <laughs> oh no. I like, actually saw him once I did. Yeah. Carving carving things out of lumber. All, All right. right. What was the question? You either start every statement with hey idiot. <laughs> Or end every statement with just kidding, which poses its... I mean, these both both pose itself. Yeah. Like, try proposing with either. Hey, See, pro- I, I propose make, to your wife. You I could either, make the hey, idiot proposal. Yeah, I could do yeah, that could, because you can you can lovingly... So we're sarcastic people, right? Like, you know, I call my kid fart face. I don't even know their name. Is that sarcasm or just cruelty? I don't know. What are, what are my kids' names? It doesn't matter. Right. Fart face is... <laughs> Is all of their names, and you know that's no different than I could. I could see my daughter, who I love, and I'd say, "Hey, idiot," and she would know. I love her from the bottom of my heart. And my boys, traditionally, the same. though, like uh, the one, is- one sentence of your life, the the one that begins the "Will you marry me? I love you" sentences, that might be the one that most women would want omitted from the sarcasm. Hey, idiot! Is it better to be sarcastic with just kidding at the end? No, because no. you can like. Let's just go through the proposal. So it's, hey, idiot, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Blah blah. blah. Will you marry me? Yes, idiot, I will. That would be the response. Or, I love you. You are the light of my life. 
I want to marry you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Just kidding. Wait, wait. Are you are, <laughs> are you really are you being serious? Are you being you serious? Can make, you no, can, no, no, no. I'm being serious. Just kidding. You can make, <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Are you <laughs> No, no, no. I love you with uh, yes, all my I, heart. Yes, I do. Oh, that's great. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Yeah, I mean, you can't do the just kidding. Do you want to set a date? Yes, I do. Just kidding. Because just you, kidding. Because you can't ever undo it. You can't ever convince with a following sentence like just kidding or just kidding. I don't know that I anybody knows what ha- what's happening. You would be called "Hey, idiot!" soon if you chose the "just kidding" side. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't do no, anything in life. Done. Ending the sentence with just, "just kidding." So we've decided that it's better. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Oof. No thanks. Hey, I would much hey, rather go up hey, and say, "Hey, idiot." idiot. I'm sorry I'm for so your loss. I'm so sorry for That's your loss. That's not good. That's fine. It's not. It's not fine. It's fine for me like i feel like people that know me they would expect that they'd be it, they would give them comfort that in their time of need i would have the confidence in our friendship to say hey idiot hey idiot well no see you're right and you've you've spun this the right direction because like your wife knows you the problem here is that there are there's a category of acquaintance to stranger mm. Where the hey idiot may not be quite like you go to you're the, asking them to push number three in the elevator. Like, hey idiot, can you get number three? <laughs> <laughs> That's more. Or you're at the DMV. Hey idiot, I need to get a new license. Yeah, the, the stranger. Just kidding. <laughs> you got to have a certain level of charm. You know what I mean? You got to be able to walk in that elevator. So you got to be handsome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to be a charming like our ugly listeners. Man. Oh, right. Very, very handsome. Well, they're so rich that they don't care what the people think. You really need to be able to say both. Then you can get away with all of it. If you can say, hey, idiot, hand me that thing. Just kidding. But then you don't get the thing. It's, uh, I still want the thing. <laughs> hey, idiot, just, push push three. Just kidding. And then they don't do anything. <laughs> and you call them. That's no solution. It's got to be. You got to be able to go, hey, idiot, just kidding. Can you push number three? <laughs> That's true. That's how it works. Okay. I think we've, uh, we're have we ready to move on. Just kidding. That's a great question. <laughs> Andy is <laughs> Andy's. I'm still just I'm really taking in the previous twenty seven minutes of this show. Yeah. Mm. Committing a lot of things to thought. Uh that's a great question. Deleting some, things from memory. Yeah, some important questions. Brian from the website says, What is one thing from your childhood that mm. you love to do? Loved to do. But now, as an adult, you hate. So, for example, doing puzzles, rollerblading, maybe board games. Maybe it's reading. Mm. (laughs) I don't know. But you loved it as a kid, but now you hate. I'm not going to go as far as to say I hate it, but I find myself, and I don't like this about myself, but I find myself too impatient for most board games now. Hmm. I don't actually like... What board games are you playing these days? Basically anyone where I have to learn the rules. <laughs> okay, okay, so a new game. So a new game. Yeah, you put me some shoots and ladders. I could, I could take that down. But... It's the startup process. I'm no longer at... like I. To me, playing a game means relaxing. Sure. But now, as an adult, playing a game means learning a complex rule maybe it's because i have some friends that have that play more complex games maybe it's because i'm much dumber now see but i don't like learning i don't like learning a complex set of rules to play a game and because i like strategy in a game and if you're learning how to play then you takes you like five games to strategize the game i totally get that i'm i'm hyper competitive I want to win at everything. You know, I remember, I, I don't know, a couple years ago or something, there were, I think you were there. There was somebody's house. We went to a board game night, learned this new game, and everybody else knew it except my wife and I. So we're trying to get the deeper Oof. strategies of this Oof. game, but we got no chance to win. Right. This is our first time, but I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay just because not it's, winning. that's not okay. Exactly. And I totally get this because as a youth, here's what I know I'm going to learn this game. And it's okay because I'm going to play this, I don't know, 10 or 12,000 times over my next year. You've got year. all the time, got in, the time world. in the world. But this is this is all I'm doing on this Wednesday night or whatever it was, and I'm probably never going to play it again. I think that's 100% what it is, is I feel like I can't be competitive. So I don't want to learn a new game. But then you get in a trap of not learning things. Interesting. 
Mine, what? my thing that I loved as a kid that I hate now is exercise. <laughs> you I, loved exercise? I loved ever. Like, put it this way. Well, like aerobics? No, no, no. I didn't do the just jazzercise. Like, oh, oh, jumping jacks, what? 275, 276. Come on, Keith, play with me. 277. No, but I loved activity. I love, I guess, physical activity. Okay. Like, that's fair. Die hard into basketball. Basketball was life. You know that, Andy. I beat you every morning um, in one on one. And sports, and and I mean, I still love to play sports, but everything else around it, you know, like I would run places for no. I would just, I would prefer. I need to, to get over there. I, exactly. I would prefer <laughs> to run. <laughs> I need to get over there. <laughs> I'd like to be there sooner. That's a nightmare. Like, and I think it's just a weight thing because if I right now weighed. 155. I can't. That's what's on my license, by the way. I saw that 150. today. Oh, I got to see what's That's on mine. That's not true. Oh. Mine's probably wait, wait, pretty wait. close to Let's there. Let's see who's got the largest gap. I don't have my license gap. on me. I'm curious what the largest gap is. Well, that gap, gap for what it's worth. I weigh 190. That's 155. I haven't had my license. So that's a uh, 30. I'm pretty sure mine's right around where I am. A 35 gap. A 35 gap. All right. Well, what's what's your gap, Jay? I got you beat. All right. Because my license says weight. 205 and i am well i will say this usually over the last year i am 255 yes 55 hit me 55. with it <laughs> i am 255 usually people now, are so confused all that being said i am 245 right now i've been eating healthy the last couple so of weeks. you're so only I'm, that, I'm down 10 pounds so i'm 40 for 40 up over my license yeah that's only five more than my gap i'm coming for you <laughs> well done what All right, it, where were we? Uh, Mike needs to say what is one thing from his childhood that he used to love to do, but now as an adult, he hates. It's funny because saying something like rollerblading or roller skating, I can't say that I hate it because I just, I mean, I haven't done that in 20 years. Have since you rode a bike? I've ridden a bike a couple times. I wouldn't say I hate that. It was fun. It's not great. It's not great, <laughs> Bob. Uh, I would say for me, it, it, and it's not so much that I hate it, it's just that the enjoyment you got as a child compared to being an adult is talk about a gap it's it's very wide but it's swimming like really? swimming as a child was the we we grew up in Arizona so you're pretty limited on what you can do especially when we were growing up in there the, wasn't in the, in the summer without death and it was swimming and you would you would wake up and you would swim not exaggerating for 8 9 hours a day every day I and think you're exaggerating but I not, I not get me it. I mean, mo me. most of the day. Oh, I would wake up. This at, is a full time job. Yeah, this I would. Is, I was a kid. I didn't have it. What child labor are you doing? I, apparently, swimming is the child labor. I would wake up at seven, and we would go in. We'd swim before breakfast, come out, eat, play some Nintendo, swim till lunch, swim until dinner, play Nintendo. Okay. I mean, it was it was outrageous how much I swam as a kid, and now it's you're in the pool and you're like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> I'm in the water, so it feels nice, but now what do I do? So here's the great... What, what, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> just splashing I'm, I'm around. I'm not drowning, but it's just I don't have I don't have my kid's imagination anymore, I so I just kind of hang out. I think that's the one thing that is excluded from my exercise issue. I love swimming now. And the reason I love it now as much as I did as a kid is this reason. When I was a kid, I couldn't open my eyes underwater. Mm -hmm. I, I still, I still can't. I just, I don't, I, I don't like it. It hurts. It doesn't Did you feel know good. they made a, a, an invention so you can? So these goggles are the reason. <laughs> That's what I'm getting to. You I didn't, didn't have goggles. I didn't have goggles growing up, but I got goggles now, and it's amazing. I'm wait, living wait, wait, wait. under the water. Your, li your goggles have opened up your eyes. Oh, <laughs> yes. yeah. Goggles have opened hey, oh. up my eyes. Underwater, I can see legs and <laughs> bottom of pool, and <laughs> I don't know other things underwater. <laughs> the only thing underwater is butts. Are legs and the legs and butts. <laughs> legs in the bottom of the pool. But I love it. I just, I really do love swimming around. I, I I'll go out late at night when my kids are in bed. Oh, we've heard. Because in Arizona, just, just doggy paddle around. Oh, I'll. We've uh, heard. Yes. <laughs> We've heard what happens late at night. No. Yeah, it's it's good times. I absolutely love swimming as an adult now. And maybe that's, again, because of my weight. Because I weigh less. 
mm. underwater. Are you buoyant? You I'm should go to free. space. <laughs> oh, I would love space. <laughs> What would I weigh in space? Let me uh, that. zero. What would I weigh no, in not space? zero. Well, Jason, like on the moon. Okay. You're weightless. Yes, on the moon. Literally, you're they call it weightless. <laughs> zero they gravity. Call, they call it weightless. Wait, so you weigh nothing. That's right. You weigh nothing. You weigh nothing in space. <laughs> okay, but but on the moon. What yes, would I the moon you weigh something. Yeah, but it, you would on the moon you'd weigh I don't know like thirty pounds or something. How much do I weigh in a weightless <laughs> environment? <laughs> okay. All right, next great question. But do you, no, hold on. Okay, go on. I want. Do you really weigh nothing? Because I still have mass. It doesn't. You weigh. There's no. There's no gravity pulling there me down. There is no gravitational force anywhere. If you were in outer space, so for example, if you're in outer space and you push on a wall, you will forever move the opposite direction unless there is some other force that acts upon you. Because you weigh literally but, nothing. But my issue here is with how we determine weight. It's called because gravity. Gravity is what yes, determines weight. You that's have to ha that's yes. my issue. There is no gravity in space, and therefore you do not weigh I anything. I should weigh whatever I weigh, you wherever are, I am, because this is how much my body... But you, but but you, you only weigh it based on the pressure downward on you. That's I mean, why you weigh what you weigh on, on something. Like, now, if you're saying, what is my my like physical mass but that like, is going to be measurable like the, my but, circumference you get your circumference is everywhere like let's <laughs> say we're in space and we weigh okay. nothing all right i believe right or incorrectly that if we were to do the jumping jack motion it would take more energy for me to do that because yes. i weigh more it would because, because my arms are heavier but there's no gravity you're do you see what I'm saying? No, it's just not it really. Would, it, but it's not about weight. It's about what energy it would take your body to actually do the motion. Because of the mass of my body. Because of the yes. gravity pressing down based on the mass of your body. But there's but no he's gravity. Saying, he's saying in space. Oh, in space? Yeah. I don't you, think it. You don't have weight in space. Shouldn't matter. I don't think it should matter. So I'm just stronger then. I've got bigger yes. muscles. Yes. You oh, can. I'm going outer space, man. I'm going to crush it there. See you soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> since uh, Jason has thrown, this is Ho Jose. Oh. Jose from our uh, Patreon, by the way. Spitball oh, thank you for your support. Spitballerspod.com. Click the Become a Spitwad button. Since Jason has thrown his hat into the presidential campaign ring, which one of you will be his running mate? Andy mm. or Mike? Ooh. We both have to make our cases. Oh, and then I get to pick. Yes. Oh, this is great. Very Okay, so I'm the running mate? You're like my, the VP, right? Correct. My case is simple. Okay. You've known me for nearly 20 years. Yes. I think you know me to be the most responsible person or one of the top few in oh, your life. Oh, Certainly of this group, yes. Um, so your financial situation, the your forgetfulness problems, mm -hmm. you're showing up on time, all solved. And you are my running mate. <laughs> I mean, this, Mike, I don't know what you I can... I know. Like, music. A, he can offer you music. Oh, we'd have a good time, Mike. You would be a fun running mate. Now, let me ask you this, Jason. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're the president of the United States. Of course. You trying to get bogged down with financial reports and budgets. I'm sure I can and, find... Uh, and international democracy. I am sure, 100% sure that I can find other people to do that for me. If I'm the president, I'm sure right. I can find anyone out there to do it with me. My issue... This is a running mate. I'm not president yet. Unless so this is like mm, mm. this is like I need a succession plan where I can yeah, replace but what, Andy. But what about that thing? You. What about that thing Andy did? Oh, back in the that thing, the skeleton. Oh, that's mm -hmm. now that's my platform, Mike. Now, if you need an actual <laughs> running running mate, oh yeah, I could. That's I, not me. Mike can do the. I can outrun him. No, you can't. No, that's not true. He can't. Well, well not in like a forty yard dash, but in a. In a, a uh, like we're about 30 to minutes. Have, we're about to have a huge challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're about guys, to have a huge challenge. Right, my I running mate will coming. be determined by whoever finishes the marathon first. No, no, no. No, marathon. no, 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 no. Because who can get, would be dead. Who can get the furthest in 30 minutes? That's f interesting. That's, That's a, interesting. Isn't that an interesting one? Because yes. you can pace however you want. Yeah. But it's just how far can you go? 30 minutes. In 30 minutes. The problem with that is this. If I mean, you got to do it completely separate, like blind test. You, you guys can't okay. be going at the same place because well, as, soon as, interesting. as soon as someone is out into a lead a little bit. Yeah, it, it pushes you. It, you get the juice. And then, but that's the competitive nature I'm relying I'm on to beat Mike. I'm not worried about the juice of, oh, no, I've got to catch up. Once they're out too far, you go, yeah, all right, I'm not going to win. 
Mm. So then you're giving up, and that person's like, well, he's way back there. I'm just going to go at whatever pace he goes, and then That's, you don't go the, as far as you want. With a 30-minute race, that probably would happen for one of us. So I'm going to call for two separate 30-minute blind races. Winner is my VP. Wait, we have our eyes covered? Uh, no. More. How far can you get? <laughs> How far blind. can you get tripping you're disqualified? Interesting. It's an interesting mm. challenge. Mm. But honestly... If I had to, if I was running, I would pick Andy. Too. I, I would pick Andy because, like, <laughs> my schedule would be tight. You know what I mean? Everything would be organized. I'm, not, get, I'm trying to be the president. I'm not trying to do anything. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got to vie for my role, Mike. Yes. Oh my gosh! All right, you guys, uh, do you want to do a draft? Mm-hmm. The Spitballers Draft. All right. Uh, right now, actually, in our neck of the woods uh, the, the state fair is here and this is a pop you know the state fair county fair whatever the case may be you know i'm told people like it. you know what a fair is and you go there and you give money in exchange for losing at games a lot of money and you give money for food and you give money for rides that may or may not be safe and you also get in long lines and hopefully find your family after you get lost <laughs> So we are drafting today the best state fair foods. So best fair foods. Yes. The the things that are known as fair fair. There will be a lot of fried items. There will likely be only fried items. I so can think of... Possibly, yeah. Now, are we going three rounds or four? We, we can well, try we for can four. Figure, you know, figure um, out. I can think of one fair food that is not fried. Well, no, I guess a, a couple. There's a handful. But they're, they're, I mean, I don't oh, know but, that we'll draft them. But then them. are they on the best? I don't know that we'll draft them. Yeah. Also, update, breaking news. I would be 25 pounds on the moon or 1.7 stones. Oh, yes. I feel yes. real good about my weight when I'm down at 1.7. <laughs> Not bad. I weigh 1.7. Uh, Mike is right. up. I have the first pick, and to me there is I guess only if you weighed... Like, your mass wouldn't impact you as negatively if you technically weighed less on another place, right? Because if you had gained more weight, it's really the impact of that weight on your organs and your body. And Yeah, there's other... Like, it hurt... The other, gravity is what hurts. It's not just gravity, though, because there's fat cells that can, like, a attach to your liver. Okay. Things like I, that. That sounds scary. Sorry. Back to the number Back one Back to pick. drafting foods. They call it fatty liver. <laughs> so... <laughs> There's only one number one pick to me, and it's funnel cake. It is. All funnel, right, so funnel cake is outrageously delicious. Which, uh, the, the truth is. And it's really, why is funnel cake not more no, places? Uh, seriously. Like, if it's this popular at the fair, go ahead and bring it out to, like, my restaurant. The reality is funnel cake is, it's it, okay. It's all right. But Indian whoa. fried bread. There's the same, same difference, really. Th and that's why I'm including it here. Because yeah. you get you get both. They're basically the same thing. Take it's basically a stretched out donut. Out of curiosity, since it's the number one pick, it deserves a little extra time in this draft. What's your preferred topping? I go just powdered sugar and honey. I'm um I'm actually uh, just powdered sugar. Just powdered that, sugar. That's all I need. Cin I like the honey. Yeah, I like or the cinnamon's good too. Cinnamon sugar and and honey or powder and honey. But we have to give a shout out to the dinner fry bread. Where you've got like the, it's basically like chili and cheese because sure. fry bread can be a, an instrument for just about <laughs> for great anything. Things. I mean, if you're putting other food that you would eat on top of this fried dough bread, is I mean, it's going to be good unless it's a liquid. And this is the entire basis for my French fry restaurant. Fried things taste good. Yes. Step one. There's no What a way. perfect capstone to this episode. <laughs> so insanely focused on exercise and weight to end in a fried food draft of sorts. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's no way that a French fry-based restaurant where it's just a bunch of things on fries would fail. Not in, not in no, America. No, it would be amazing. You go to Europe, people would be like, what? <laughs> I assume. I don't know. I've never been to Europe. <laughs> that was a very right. nice European accent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> it was kind of uh, an amalgamation. Yeah. All right, so I'm up. You took a funnel cake or yes. Indian fried bread, which is a great pick. Um, we just talked about my next pick, right? Because French fries are the greatest 
add-on. They're the greatest side in yeah, the world. Yeah, like, you are correct. The kids love them. Grown-ups love them. You can be getting... I mean, I've seen like meals where it's like you get a bowl of spaghetti and you can get fries with it. Not yeah. just burgers. That so, sounds I mean, strange. You know what's, what's actually great is... I don't know if this has been forever if I just had an awakening as I grew into an adult. Chinese food places. Oh, so good. They've got French fries now they a lot do? of the time. Yeah, yeah most and, all of them have French fries. And they are spectacular. You want to know why? They're great. There's no way to mess up French fries. Like You can. You, you can have inferior French fries. Okay. I mean, and I'm not talking like yeah. old, oh, these French fries were made six hours ago. Yeah, they're messed up. You can have inferior French fries. Like some people like the steak fries. Some people like the shoestring fries. I know we're on opposite sides of that, you yes. idiots. And Hey, idiot. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. But... <laughs> They're good because they're deep fried in oil. That's the key. And it's just mm. like, oh, this deep fried oil tastes good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take French fries specifically because it's the fair. Chili it's, fries? No, it's it's the curly fries. Yeah. Like Piggly Wiggly. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. I don't know. Is, is that national? Is Piggly Wiggly national? I don't every, even know what those are. Every fair I've ever been to is like that. But just those giant plates of curly fries. Yeah, every fair I've been to has, yes, so curly has fries. that plate. Yeah. All right. So I get two picks, right? You do. I'm going to go with... Uh, what Number, fried food do you want? Yeah, I'm going with two fried foods. The and they're they're kind of the same, but they're they're different draft picks. So I'm taking them both because you you've been talking about frying things in oil and how great that is. Well, cheese is delicious too. <sighs> so cheese is I'm, very good. I'm yeah. taking first fried cheese curds. Yeah, cheese curds are unstoppable. Yeah, they are. And then I'm not leaving the cheese category. Oh, I'm going, doubling up on the cheese. I'm going fried mac and cheese. Oh, my God. Okay. Which I've you're had a, many a time. And you're they're a terrible person. They're outstanding. They're Mike was hoping they'd both come back to him. Fried mac and cheese is unbelievably good. It's Thank you. So good. Great picks. And the real key to both of those is the cheese and the fried. Yes. it yeah, More than the mac. Yeah. The I fried mean, and the cheese. Is, let, me, yeah. let me ask you this. And, I, and I, this is against my own pick. Okay. Okay. But let's say I had uh, a little block of cheese. Okay. I bought okay. it from the deli. Okay. And I'm going to slice you up a little piece. Right. And I'm going to give it to you. And then I said, well, hold on. I'm going to take a potato. I'm going to give it, I'm going to slice off a little piece of this potato. Okay. And I'm going to give you that slice of a, of a potato it, I got from a grocery store. These yeah. are these are two different experiences for me. They're just right next to each other. You got a, you got a slice of cheese. You got a little slice of a potato. Eat, eat these things. Wh which one tastes good? The cheese. Yeah, because the potato is stupid. <laughs> a potato tastes good once it's deep fried or cooked and butter and all other. Potatoes right. are amazing. But the base is nowhere near what the base of cheese is. So you deep fry, you're starting at a better base. <laughs> I've never heard it explained that way, and it is, it's accurate. I mean, potatoes are just cheap. If cheese was as cheap as potatoes, everywhere we'd go, it would just be, would you like... Would you like some cheese French fries? <laughs> French fried cheese? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, gosh, there are so many different yeah, things. I'm, I'm fascinated to, where you're going to go. I'm trying to think, do I go meal? Do I go snack? Do I go side? Do I go entree? I've already kind of got the side. And so when I go to a fair. I've never thought there was an entree at a fair. I thought these were all there just are a couple illegal foods. <laughs> there are a couple <laughs> just not legal. We had to get a special permit for this major entrees, and I'm going to take one now. I love a fair, gigantic corn dog. Yeah, the, I thought you might take the that. huge, fair-sized corn dogs are delicious. Again, fried. It's like I lo I love hot dogs. Hot dogs are one of my absolute favorite foods. But then if you could just dip that in batter and fry it and then give it to me on a stick that I could carry around, I'm all in. So the yeah. giant, it's, a, it's a solid pick and it's such a such a perfect fair food. Yeah, because you wanna you still wanna be able to walk around like even when I've gotten the fries before, it sucks. That's a two handed affair. You you gotta have one hand to hold if you're walking around. Sure. And one hand to eat. You just might want to do the corn dog toward the back half of your fair trip. Oh, it's in case you need to First Sco in, first scooch, out. Scooch out. <laughs> scooch out of there and yeah, take care of it. Yeah, because all this other stuff. Yeah. The fried cheese I curds. have. I've been genuinely scarred by hot dog-related foods in that department. Ah, you haven't eaten gotcha. enough bad foods then because you know I, am, I am... Scarred by in, all equally. <laughs> my insides have been scarred so much that I feel nothing now. All right. So my, is, my first pick here 
I was going to say, I'm going to take something that's not fried, but I can't speak with authority that they don't actually fry them. They're just not breaded, but they could be fried in oil. I'm going to take the turkey leg. I'm oh, gonna, okay. I'm going to take the monster turkey leg. It's also available at Disneyland. I, I love or these. Renaissance festivals. Yeah, but it's 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 a fair or or Thanksgivings. Not not these no, turkey I legs. Know. These turkey legs. You walk around, you feel like a absolute beast of a man. You want to talk about uh who who left us that review? Oh Dude. yeah, that guy goes from power tools to workouts to turkey legs. No <laughs> yeah, doubt for sure. So much protein. Yes. So I will take the turkey leg. And Probably I, dinosaur legs <laughs> for that guy. I've heard. I cannot confirm nor deny, but I have heard that the Disneyland ones are actually ostrich legs. That, that, that sounds sounds like a lie. That was that was a rumor floated around on the dark web. Yeah, they're actually like kookaburra so, legs. Sounds like kookaburra something. legs are actually real small. No, they're extinct. The, the no, kookaburra is fine. They are. Yeah, they kookaburras live, are fine. Yeah, they live down in the old gum tree, eating all the gum drops they can see. But down <laughs> in Australia, what is happening? I don't understand either of your references right now. You don't know the kookaburra? Kookaburra lives in the old gum tree. Never Mary, heard Mary, the gum drops. King see. of the bushes, he or something. What? Wait, you know this? You yeah. don't know the kookaburra song? Laugh, Al Borla. laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, kookaburra. Do you Not my it? life if I heard that. No, no. Oh, because wow. it's so I knew, stupid. I knew it, Mike. Did your parents know each other growing up and you two were like, it's your a, parents came up I with thought, this what am super I think, funny song. What's the bird that's dodo. extinct? Oh, a dodo bird. <laughs> that's it. Thanks, Mike. This show is... It's probably a pigeon leg, am I right? <laughs> special. All right, so you took... Uh, so I took the turkey leg and then I will take the staple of the fair. How do you make an Oreo better? You deep fry you it. You deep fry it. I will take the deep fried Oreos. I have my meats in my in my. Uh, you can do so much with Oreos. Desserts. You can do so. You talk about you put cheese on a table. You put a potato on a table. You put an Oreo on a table. Oreos ready to go. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Jason, you're up. All right, there are. I'm looking through. So this far, list you have here. a corn dog. You've got curly fries. Mm-hmm. That's all he's got. Mike and has I, a but, funnel hey, cake, it, turkey leg, deep fried Oreo. Look, if I so choose to put chili and and cheese on my curly fries, I can't. I can get any kind of curly fries I want. I can load them up. That's Just fine. Like you got a funnel cake. Sure, but when he puts up the pole, it will say curly fries. Sure. It will not say curly fries, parentheses, any way I want to eat them. Uh, I'll make it so. <laughs> um, all right, so now I feel like I've got my entree. Just take your nasty fried pickles and get it over with. I've, you don't fry. I mean, okay, fried pickles are okay, but I would rather <laughs> at a fair, genuinely, fi- fried pickles are good. I would rather get one of those big, you know, they've got those like monster pickles. Mm-hmm. Those are great. I Just, know you hate pickles, but they're fantastic. I'm not taking that though because I've got a plan here. I've got my entree. I've got my side. I need my dessert. Mm. And I would be horrifically off brand if I did not take a churro at the fair. This I mean, is a fair thing to do. This, I'm not getting out of this draft without the best dessert. Well done. Well done. Food that has ever existed. Churros are phenomenal. Feels like you snuck your way into the funnel cake category. Oh, yeah. I just churro. basically stretched it out, rolled it, it in sugar. And that was an excellent pick. I did not see it coming. And I ate it, and I am happy. I feel a little bit insulted about the fried pickle comments that took place because <laughs> they was on my short list. <laughs> well, no, they're good, but... Uh, but I churro mean, wins. Well, yeah. Because I've got. Like, would you like these fried pickles or a delicious churro? Yeah. Well, it depends. Are you savory or are you sweet? It, if I'm in the mood for savory, then I would take a churro <laughs> because it's that much better in its category it's not savory. that I don't care what. No, I'm not saying it's savory. I'm saying I would pivot. I'd say, oh, I'm, I just want something savory. Wait a minute. That's there's a churro. You have curly fries, fried corn dog, and a churro. Aren't all? I guess all corn dogs are not fried, huh? Just Fair corn dogs. No, they're fried. They have to they're be all fried. right. That's just a corn dog. Yeah, that was a pivot. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to take some. I was just reading fried corn dog, and I was wondering if it was redundant. You, you just yes, call it a corn yes. dog. Corn all right, dog. I have uh, cheese curds, mac and cheese. I'm going to go to the dessert round, and I'm just going to because I don't want to miss anything here. I'm going to go dessert waffles. Okay, they, I've had yeah. the the trucks uh oh the waffle trucks are fantastic so well, how can, are there not more of these there's kind of dessert waffles where you can put tons of stuff on top of them or there's waffle sandwiches. ice cream sandwiches 
I like and, the waffle. Oh, they're so good. They, like, they'll make waffle sandwiches that are just basically, here's two waffles and a bunch of dessert in the middle. It'll be like bananas yes. and chocolate and yes. whipped cream Peanut and butter, n- Nutella. Whatever. Yeah, and it's like, here, eat all of the stuff you like in a convenient package of waffles. Yeah, and so I guess what you're saying is I can't choose chili fries for another pick, right? Cause Correct. You, you just have fries, and I've got dessert waffles. And so I will go with the savory choice of fried pickles. I like fried pickles. I think they are a unique, fair treat. And so uh, that's how I'll round it out. All right. So this is tough. You two picks left. I've got three things on my list here where they're classic. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to say some, I know you've got a pick left, Mike. Do you, do you have some on your list? Are you, I do. All right. So I'm going to say, I I doubt my, the one I want to take is on your list. So like, I'm going to throw this one out first because I'm definitely not taking it, but it's on my short list. Like popcorn, kettle corn. Right, you're walking around yeah, up there. Yeah, you want that, but the I problem feel is like that's a concession of like everywhere of defeat. It's it's a concession of ever. It's not Dude. a fair. It's not a fair. Andy's so sad he didn't take kettle corn right now. No, there's no, another one that I'm about to say. There's one that is just a it's, so that's it's a not low a fair. Hanging you go to you know fruit. You go to you go to the movie theater. You go to your your kids' school event. They got a popcorn machine maker. Yeah, you know what I mean. Kettle it's corn's like, a little different though. Sure, but I, kettle corns at every movie theater. Sometimes I'm at it's now. sometimes it's you know they have the different. So now I'm flavors. between two. I'm between cotton candy. Yeah, that's the one is, I was thinking uh, of. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a fair. It is a treat. fair. I know what treat. It, cotton candy's not good. Oh, tell that to my children. Well, the, yeah, I will. And myself, I'll, I'll hey, tell it to my children. You talk about something you loved as a kid that you kind of hate as an adult. Maybe cotton candy's the one. Because it's I too sweet. Hated it in both it's areas. Just, no, you did. Oh, no, no, I, I did. did. Cotton candy. I 100 percent did. This is why your food takes are the worst. <laughs> because you have no food. Dis- oh, it's disgusting. Cotton candy's terrible. Yes, and, owl. And it's a mess. Owl, yes, owl and you have the exact same taste, though, right? Like you often you'll go to lunch, you'll just say, "Give me what Mike likes," because I like bad food too. And so, <laughs> you know, it it's makes true. sense. Uh, but I'm not going to go with cotton candy. You'll be happy, owl. I am going to go something very similar to what Mike went with, but the better version, because I've had both of these at the fair. One of these deep fries perfectly, and one of these does. The Oreo's okay. But if you really want the deep fried treat, it's the deep fried Twinkie. Twinkie. Sure. The deep fried Twinkie. I, there's no other place. Like cotton candy, I can get elsewhere. Still at the movie. Popcorn, I can get elsewhere. I have no idea on planet Earth where you could get a deep fried Twinkie other than at state fairs. I think it's yep, like. You've a, had two home run picks in a back to back, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, Thank it's you. well done. It's a food draft. As well you done. Say, you are well done in your element. All right. So my draft is over. Andy's draft is over. Mike, take it away. So mine is, I don't, it's, to me, is a fair food. It's also a street food. Um, and my, I, apolog- I, I apologize. <laughs> that was last episode. Apologize. My, my Spanish accent is not good, but it's a lote or Mexican street corn. Are you familiar with the I, Mexican I actually, street corn? I am familiar with it that. It is delicious now this is just it is so good is that not because i was thinking on my short list was uh, uh like a fair corn on the cob they make is that not a corn on the cob it's i mean is it off the cob no no it's a corn on the they make both but the the the, the common way to make it is corn on the cob but it's like it's got the the cheese the lime the chili powder oh, it's cilantro different. mayonnaise on it i thought about doing a bacon wrapped corn situation for the fair too so corn is is kind of Corn's underrated because it's not fried and it's a vegetable. <laughs> but corn, corn is amazing because it's it's a vegetable. It's it, like super it, sugary, isn't it? It doesn't have a ton of sugar. It has no, it no just, nutritional value. It just masquerades as a vegetable, but has yeah no nutritional value. I learned in my anthropology class in in college, like they can look at skeletons and go, oh yeah, this was a corn based uh, the corn Why? based diet because the skeletons like the joints have nothing left because there's no nutrition in it. Well, that's, here's the thing. That's kind of not true. There's you can get fat, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B, vitamin K from the butter. Well, you can get that that's <laughs> on corn. And so I think that it's really it's just a it's a vessel for butter. Here's the biggest problem I have. My wife is unfortunately she has a proclivity towards vegetables. She likes them. She thinks they taste good. I don't know what planet she's from. However, she tries to get you know oh eat healthier right eat a vegetable eat the except for all the vegetables I even want to, to inch towards, she just destroys them, undresses them as having no nutritional value of any kind. 
Potatoes, useful, useless starches. Yeah. Corn, useless. Yes. Lettuce. No, no, romaine. Iceberg, stupid. Oh, ice, iceberg is so basically, ice cream. <laughs> it's just like, no, get a good romaine or a spinach. I'm not uh, sure. I'm with you, What, Andy, what I'm saying is, is that she should be happy <laughs> if I'm even entering the like same department maybe it's as a, vegetables. Maybe it's a gateway vegetable. That's you know, what you I'm saying. You don't but hear it, about gateway things being to not. good. It's the iceberg lettuce is a is a gateway to diabetes. A, what? No, no, it's not. That's not fair. It's a gateway to it's drinking a, too much water. It's a gateway to romaine. No, like I'm not going straight to spinach because it's awful. Spinach is way better than romaine. But I'm going. They're both. I'm going to start with some iceberg. I've heard iceberg is actually legit bad for your digestive no. tract. Oh, I don't believe Why it. Why are all the things we like bad for us? Yeah, even when we're trying to be good. <laughs> that's stupid. Here, let me do this. Nope, that's not it. Oh. <laughs> don't we have uh, one of these? What did we learn today? I learned today that Jason doesn't understand the zero part of zero G. I, I learned, believe you don't know. I learned that all good all vegetables are also bad for you. Uh, I learned the name of certain places of your body, and I also learned <laughs> that all of our listeners are so rich and funny. That's true. And fancy, and they know how to use to do. power tools. They work out. Oh man, they exercise to be young again. All right, we're done. Thank you for joining us, Spitwaz. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.